All right, Brianna, thanks so much. Well, this morning we are joined by Jamie and Linda from a new craft kombucha brewery here. And good morning, ladies. Good thanks morning. for being here. Thank good you. morning. And we've mentioned the word kombucha. I don't know if it's still enough that people know what it is. So let's mm -hmm. start out with first talking about what it is exactly. Um, kombucha is a fermented tea beverage. It originated in Asia. Some people say China. And it's fairly new to the U.S. I mean, probably in the last 20 years, it's gained more popularity. So why do people want to drink it? It's considered to have some benefits, right? Yes, so it has healthy digestive acids, it has probiotics, um, it's good for digestion and your gut biome, so it kind of helps with people that are having digestive issues. And it's a great alternative for soda. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, how much are we drinking here? As you wake up and have a glass a day, is that kind of the standard, or how do you use kombucha? I think drinking about a glass a day is pretty much the norm. Um, mm -hmm. That's, uh, I think, a really good starting point. Sometimes if you start drinking too much probiotics right away, it can be a little overwhelming. So starting mm -hmm. slow and building up the amount can always be a good way to start out. I think there's a theory <laughs> that you can get drunk drinking kombucha. What do, yeah. what do we really think about that? Um, our kombucha is considered non-alcoholic. It has a does have a trace amount of alcohol in it because it is a fermented product, but no more than a kefir or a fresh pressed cider. So this is not something you should worry about drinking? No, no, no. no. And you serve it in a variety of flavors, right? Correct. Talk about that. Yes. We have about eight different flavors. Um, we have blueberry mint, um, blood orange, we have a berry, ginger pomegranate, um, hibiscus orange, mango papaya, and a spiced cherry. Mm -hmm. And we kind of, we do also do some seasonal flavors. We're gonna do maybe a cranberry more towards Thanksgiving. The nice thing is about it, we just kind of, we'd make a base and then it's easy to flavor it. Did I see pumpkin spice on that now, though? <laughs> <laughs> when you talk about seasonal flavors, no? All right, yes. stick with the cranberry. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, now, for, I just wanna know, which flavors do you have in here? Um, so what we're going to, uh, we can try today if you'd like, is we have a ginger pomegranate, we have a berry, and we have a mango papaya. I'll try mango. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, I actually have a mango sparkling water I drink in the morning, so. Oh, oh yeah. So you cheers. Yeah. Right <laughs> Non-alcoholic, right? So I can have this on air. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, while Jen's sipping it, we want people to know the name and where they can find you. Mm -hmm. Um, so our name is Dambucha. Um, we're based out of Spokane, Washington, and you can find us at uh, multiple restaurants in Spokane, uh, Coeur d'Alene, and Idaho, and um, so Iron Goat Brewery, Black Label Brewing Company, and um, the Blackbird are some main ones in downtown Spokane where you can find our product. By the way, Mango, delicious. Thank I you. love it. <laughs> if you like you. Uh, those flavors, it tastes like tea, but like a fruity, after note, yeah, I say yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And if people want to find you online and learn more about it, can they do that as well? Do you have a website, Facebook page, all of yes. that? Yes, all of that. Yes. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Just website. search for the name dambucha.com. Yeah, yes. www.dambucha.com. All yeah. right, <laughs> we love it. Thank you guys so much for coming in this morning. We appreciate thank the you. ladies. And stay with us. We'll be back with our Crinfu Morning News. <laughs>